In this session we're going to learn how to create your own brushes. And let's start out by creating a logo brush. And we'll use this logo from Judy Host. The important thing when you're creating a logo brush on a file is to have just black and white is good. If you have a color file you can also create a brush but understand that a color could result in a gray uh, type of or see-through quality type of brush which in some cases is really very good. So before we create the brush, one thing to do is to go to image and image size and take a look at the pixel dimensions. Well this one is 300 pixels wide and high and that's perfectly within the realm. And what the realm is is 2500 pixels. So if you have a file that's over 2500 pixels with the width or the height, you're going to have to reduce that down by using the resample part of the image size command. Well, once you have your image, the creating the brush is as simple as going to the menu item, edit, and down to where it says define brush preset. Here you can name the brush, and we'll go ahead and name this the JH logo brush, or just logo. And we'll just put logo. I can remove the JPEG. And now the brush has actually been created. So let's go to a brush tool such as the brush tool or any tool that uses a brush and now we can go to create the proper settings for this particular brush. In the option bar let's click on the brush icon that brings up the brush palette and at the very bottom of the brush presets window you'll see the brush that you've just created. Once you've selected the brush you can see how the brush properties are going to react with a brush stroke and what we want to do is establish the spacing so it won't use this kind of uh, characteristic. To do that click on the name brush tip shape and at the bottom of the window here you can take the spacing all the way up to a thousand percent. This will ensure when we're using this brush that it will give us a nice sharp crisp logo. Well that's the primary establishment of creating your own brush so let's go ahead and put this brush back and let's go to one of the beautiful images that Judy has created. At this point we want to create a blank layer in the layers palette and by holding down the option key on the Mac which would be alt key on Windows and because we are in the brush tool we can then select any color in this image that we want the brush to be. So I've selected the kind of the yellowish color there and that's not strong enough so let's select another color maybe a dark green and there we have a beautiful logo signature with a brush right away and you can see how nice that's worked out. Because we've put this on a layer we can also add a layer style so I'm going to go to drop shadow add a little bit of a drop shadow to this and also maybe even a bevel and emboss and once we've done that, the logo takes on a whole new look. And that would be for and after of adding the layer style. And once again, we'll go to the next image. Option, Alt, click on the beautiful blue eye color here. And put the signature in. Well, that's actually on the background. So let's go back and create a blank layer, add the signature and then the layer styles once again. Drop shadow, bevel and boss, and that's creating a custom logo brush. A good idea when you do create a custom logo brush, in the option bar with the brush selected, go to the upper left hand icon to the preset area and this little circle triangle will bring out the flyout menu we can choose new tool preset and we'll call this 300 logo brush and not necessarily include the color with this because we always want to choose our own color now let's go to another file that's say a different resolution and what you're going to notice is the logo brush is just way too big. Let's go ahead and create the blank layer first. And then by typing the left or right 
bracket key, we can get a smaller or larger brush. Well, this size is more appropriate for this type of image. And this is a 60 pixel brush. So, back in the palette where we can save our brush tool presets, let's create a new one called 60 Logo Brush. And now we'll option click on the, one of the colors, create the logo, and then once again we can add uh, drop shadow and bevel and emboss to create a little extra depth. When you're ready to manage your brushes, you can do that under Edit, down to where it says Preset Manager. In the Preset Manager, you can manage brushes, swatches, gradients, styles, patterns, contours, custom shapes, and tools. The reason you might want to come here are two reasons. Number one, you can actually position the location of this brush in your first place in your palettes. And if there's a brush you don't want, you can then hold down the Option key on the Mac, which would be Alt key on Windows, position your cursor over one of the brushes, and you'll see the scissor uh, symbol. You can then click your mouse to remove that brush. You can virtually create a brush out of any file that you have, as long as it's less than 2,500 pixels. This goes to say that you can actually create some kind of shape and create a brush from that to use at various sizes. And I'm sure you'll agree that creating your own brushes in Photoshop is a simple thing to do.